Welcome back to Techie Jack. Today in this video, we are going to see the in-place upgrade of Exchange Server 2019 CU15 to the new Exchange Server 2025 subscription edition. Yes, that's right. No full reinstallation, no server rebuild. That's what Microsoft promises. But how does it work in the real world? Let's see it. Right now, I am on a server and would like to confirm you that once again, that from Exchange Server 2019 CU 14 and 15, you can do in-place upgrade to a Exchange Subscription Edition by just installing a new CU update. Think it as you just install the CU update on Exchange 2019 and it get upgraded to Exchange Server 2025 Subscription Edition. Also, no extra license is required to install Exchange 2025 SC RTM version. And if you are in a production environment, it is an important consideration to take a backup of your Exchange Server databases because rollback is not supported after schema upgrade. So before moving further, let's keep a note of a Exchange build and version and version of Active Directory schema as well. Let me open the Exchange Management shell and try to run this command line. Here we have the name of the server that is ex01. It's a standard evaluation version and the version is 15.2 and the build is this. If we compare it on the Microsoft website, you can see the Exchange Server 2019 CU15. It's a May 2025 release and the build number is 15.2.1748. 1748 15.2. So we are here and we want to upgrade to the Exchange Server RTM and the build number for this is this. Let's also confirm the schema version. It says object version 88. If you see any other object version, uh, that means you might have upgraded from the previous CUs. But in this case, Exchange 2019 CU15 was the first Exchange Server that is installed on this server. There was no previous CU installed on this server. Let me close this. So in order to download the Exchange SC version, you can just simply type the Exchange Server 2025 SC download and hit the search button. You will see the Exchange Server subscription edition here. And if you click it here, we have the KB number here, Exchange Server subscription edition. The size is six gigabyte. System requirement, if you see, now it is supported on the Windows Server 2025 as well. And if we check the prerequisites of uh, this SC version, it's the same like Exchange 2019 and SC system requirement are same and same prerequisites are there. So let's close this and try to run the setup now. I have already downloaded it in the C drive. We have this Exchange Server SC. So if I go and mount this disk, it's mounted and let's try to run the setup in a graphical environment. It's copying the file. You can see here Microsoft Exchange Server Subscription Edition. You can only do an in-place upgrade from Exchange 2019 CU 14 or 15. You cannot do that from the Exchange 2016 CU 23. First you have to migrate it to the Exchange 2019 CU 15. Then you can do that in-place upgrade. So you have to keep that in mind whenever you are upgrading to the new CU. Here it says upgrade. You are about to upgrade Microsoft Exchange Server and this will guide you through the upgrade process. So let's click on next, accept the license term agreement and now it's checking the prerequisites, analyzing the prerequisites. It gives us a warning like that setup can't detect a send connector with an address space of this. The warning is fine because I don't have any send connector configured on this exchange. So let's click on next. It's preparing for setup, stopping services. And now it will go through with the all 16 steps. It's removing old exchange files. Right now we are doing this installation on Windows Server 2022 Data Center Edition. Now it's installing Mailbox Transport Service, installing Mailbox Role. Now setup has been completed. So it's asking to reboot the server. Let me click on finish to reboot the server. So after reboot, we will try to log into the Exchange Admin Center. Exchange server is rebooted now. Let's try to log into the Exchange Admin Center. You can see we are logged in successfully and we have a same experience as the Exchange 2019 CU15. And if we have a look on this name and edition, it says standard evaluation version and the version is 15.2 and build is 2562.17. If you want to confirm it here, you can see this is the 
exchange server rtm build number that is 15.2.2562.17 this is the exactly we have here while installing the exchange you might have noticed that no active directory schema has been extended object version of the schema is 88 that was the same as earlier that means that exchange server 2025 sc edition does not require the schema update if you are upgrading it from the exchange server 2019 cu15 i hope you have a clear picture now like how you can do a in place upgrade of your exchange server 2025 sc edition from exchange 2019 CU15. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.